What's going on Pete? So I've been ill for like two weeks man. I had some serious ass flu, man flu. But um, yeah, I'm, I've, I'm over the worst of it now. So it's all good. So that's why there hasn't been any videos. So today I'm going to be meeting a guy called F Don P. It's one of my guys, really good mates. For those of you who've been following me for a while, you remember I done the Depop um, video where we done a live stream event and I got a couple of people to come down to kind of help talk about fakes. And I had a guy come down called um, F Don P. Just started up his new Instagram called um, It's The Storeroom. He, uh, he's asked me to come down and see what he's saying. So I thought, you know what, it might be a good idea to vlog it and share it with you guys basically. So yeah, just in Stratford at the moment and the snow's crazy. Let me show it to you. So that's the snow, man. It's kind of nuts. I was actually going to cancel today, but F Don was like, look, man, I've got so many cool pieces and I don't know how long they're going to be here. So you might want to get your ass down here, bro. If I get snowed in, man, make sure you send out a search party for me, man, because it's crazy. Just pray I don't slip, okay? All right, beeps. Um, going down to Hammersmith, gonna get the train, gonna meet my guy G Money, he's coming with me, so we should be having a blast, yeah? Alright, man, two seconds. Pour water for my head, shy of all this stress, oh, can't come kill myself very, very soon. Things go fall in place, so <laughs> This is a rip. This is weather that us Brits are not used to, mate. Yeah, I mean. And the outer alone was like 300, and the inner was like, um, well, maybe 150, 200, round about there. Um, Right, what's going on Pete? So I'm finally at my boy's house, F Don P. A crazy amount of clothes. The clothing that we're going to show you today is not even all of his collection. It's just some of the collection. But he's got some pretty dope pieces, so I'm really excited to show them to you. He's a little bit camera shy, so he don't really want to be on the camera, but that's all blessed. He's going to run me through the collection. We're going to see his pieces. We're going to see what everything's saying, okay? All right, Pete, two seconds. These are all the bits that we're going to go through. This is not even, this is not even like your whole collection. This is just like a little bit yeah. of your collection. The best parts really, to yeah. summarise what I think, I don't know, I guess what my collection's about. It's a personal preference, right. like the whole thing. I've just been to your room, I've just seen your collection, you got a whole, you got much more stuff. And I was even like, if we got all your stuff, this is gonna be a really long ass video, <laughs> man. So let's just get the best bits. So let's run through them and we'll start off with the first one and we got this piece right here. So this is obviously um, New Face, Supreme, Tell me about this piece, bro. Uh, so that's, that was the first collaboration they did in 07. Yeah. Admittedly, I wasn't collecting these jackets back in 07. Uh -huh. um, but I remember like this used to be like the early days of my collecting Supreme. This was like the holy grail. Right. Like you never see them pop up and stuff. They're absolute myth. Like now the prices have gone up quite a bit. Yeah. You see them surfacing quite a bit more. Do you remember what the, um, the RRP was on this? It was 288 if I believe correctly. Exactly, the 388. I'm really loving what North Face are doing at the moment. I mean, obviously they've been collabing with brands like uh, Mastermind. They've done some stuff with Timberland. You've even got the, I mean, I had this piece and then I sold it, but you've even, I, I, I thought this piece was absolutely yeah, amazing. Yeah, mate, man. it's absolutely banging. Like, That's I sick. love, like, the Nazis, like the most iconic North Face yeah. made, I'd say. Even you see now, like they've been doing like a lot of marketing based off the anniversary of this. Yeah, 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 yeah. And the Mastermind one, I think, is one where they they kept it subtle, but they played around with it a lot. Like, I mean, yes, totally. I mean, like at the back, you can s just, just about, about see, see there's a skull there with the with the cross at the back. I just love the little touches because obviously with this jacket, it's got the Nazi silhouette, but then you got like the mask, you got the little kind of yeah. the skull there. And not only that, all the embroidery is done in like a sort of um, like metallic. A metallic, yeah, totally, know, totally. So Again, this is like you said, this is like one of the first. See, this is the alternate colorway, so these are the two colorways that they released. Right, so these are two colorways of the same jacket. Yeah, and this, was the, this was their first. Yeah, ever, first ever North Face collaboration wow. they did. You know, and if you see, look how wacky it is. Like it's the, crazy, man. The inside of it's got some mad print. leopard print. Yeah, the outside. Reminds me of mad 70s ski outfits. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You know, like it's all over the place. Lots of I love it. And this is like fully, this is fully waterproof as well, right? Water resistant. Yeah, yeah. It's good. I wouldn't say it's fully, fully. Like after a while, I reckon you'd reach a point where it might leak on the seams. Right, so like, it's just, the, it's just the water zip, resistant. As you see, the zip is 
it's yeah. completely taped. Yeah. But the stitching isn't taped. It's like, oh. like I said earlier, if you look at what is it, the arm? Yeah. You see, it's a dry vent. So yeah. I think it might be the other wrist. Yeah. Here. Yeah. Right here. Yeah. Look there. Look. Dry vent. A high vent, even high sorry. Vent. Dry okay. vents are new stuff they've done, but right. high vent is um. Typically, like what the the jackets below uh, below Gore-Tex used to be. That's a dope piece. So that's that's water resistant. It's not yeah, waterproof. Yeah. Right, moving on to this one now because I saw this on your Instagram. And by the way, yeah. um, F Don's Instagram is it's the storeroom. Check it out. He's got mad crazy pieces on there. He's also a seller as well, so you can check some of his stuff out. This I'd say is like probably the the most demanded North Face out of the Supreme collaborations. Oh, you would say this is the. The, the, the most, ones, yeah, right? even though it was the second one to come out, like, yeah. I don't know, I just find it, especially with the recent hype and the recent price pushes from people wanting this stuff so much, mm -hmm. anything that's b bright and, like, in your face is what seems to be, like, more demanded. Whereas this, to be honest, though, from day one was always a hard jacket to locate. Do you remember, do you remember what the RRP on this? Look at that nice bit of touch of detail in there as well. I'll be honest, uh, I was never lucky enough to even see a retail tag on that jacket. Right. But, um, but now, let's say the, the first one was $388 and the silhouette's exactly the same. Right. It's just the print on it that's different. Okay. Love that, man. That is a dope, that is a dope print. And you've got, I mean, what is, I mean, you're, you started off more like a supreme, Kind of so fan, my, my you're, not, you're, not really, you're not really huge into Supreme like that anymore, are you? I, I still am, I'll be honest, but I feel like the newer stuff. Yeah, like this is new, this has just come out. Yeah, this has just come out. It's too much for me. It is a bit of a nuts. It it's is also a bit of a nuts there. jacket. I kinda I kinda like the print though. I mean I can't see myself in it, but I kinda I kinda like the print. Yeah, no. Nah. It's, it's a little bit different. And the um retail on this, what was the retail on this? Well, I think it was 358. Okay, so it's not too bad. But pounds this time. Right. Um, the thing is, the most recent years of Supreme collaborations, they yeah. really chopped down how they do their releases. Mm -hmm. You'd have one release um, a season before, yep. which would be you'd have one in summer and one in winter. Now, they've broken down the North Face collaborations to two sections per season. Okay. So this season, they had this jacket and they had also a, a leather jacket, a leather Nopsy, which I'll bring out in a minute, actually. Okay. Just to show you. It's good, you see like, the strategies changed big time. They yeah. made like a leather jacket, which had a higher retail point of like a thousand pounds. Yeah. For, I would personally say predominantly the newer customers, mm -hmm. who have money and want to be in fashion. Yeah. And then they also made something that is affordable. For, 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 their, for their usual yeah, type of customer. Cause North, North Face is kind of really a reasonable price. Yeah, price. yeah. But now, obviously, collaborating with And you like, see, it's about performance. Yeah, and the totally. new, these newer expensive designs yeah. don't execute performance. Right, so moving on to this now, is a Palace, palace now. Yeah, This right. is a Palace Aggie Tech. It's just one of their tape seam jackets that they made. Yeah. I picked it up fairly cheap in like a bulk deal I bought of someone. Yeah. And it served me well, man. It's, yeah. good. it's a good waterproof jacket mm -hmm. that done the job. It is an extortionate. Like I skate in that one, so like you'll see it's got like rips and stuff in it and like right. the, the tapings coming off and stuff, but like... And again, this one is, this is waterproof, right? Yeah, it's yeah. The seam, you can see the inside the jacket, you can see where the seams have been taped all around and that's to stop the water getting through on the outside, so we know from that that it's, um, it's waterproof. Really dope piece. I mean, with, with um, Palace, what, what would you... What did you move into first? Did you move into Supreme and then Palace, or did you move no, into I've, Supreme? I've, or? I've been into Palace from more or less day one from when they started out. And right. I remember like at the time, I was up north in Preston. Yeah. And you used to see like the stuff in like skate, like local skate shops. Nowadays they've taken away those licenses, I assume, and they only sell themselves. Okay. Yeah, it's just a brand that I thought was dope, and like people wore it because they liked it, you know. Doesn't seem doesn't seem to be. And I, I don't really know too much about the the hype scene, if I'm to be honest. But doesn't seem to as hyped as Supreme. Is that right? Yeah. Say, that, that, no, no, no. It is. It is. It is. Yeah. No, no. It's right to say that. I'd say like Palace is something that's London based. It's a it's a London skate team. And most of them are from here. So this is their their most recent Vortex jacket. It was like end of end of last season. I love the inside, man. I oh, man, I love the contrast and the tape. From a design perspective, it exaggerates the fact that the tape the seams are taped. You I know? love that. I love that. So that like you know that to the point where it's become a, a visual aesthetic on the outside. Yeah. How does it look on me, man? Does it look good? 
You're taking kind of long to say something, bro. Oh no, you're asking me, sorry, I didn't bring <laughs> stuff like that. I think it looks dope on anyone because I, I like love it. it, man. I mean, I, I like, I like um, bright colour stuff anyway, so. So you got the Gore-Tex there, yeah. so it's got Gore-Tex The attention to the, to the small things is what, what made that sell for me. Like, yeah. like if you look on the, the inside tag afterwards, behind your back, yeah. it will say Gore-Tex, and then it says like, to keep you to keep you dry as AF. Have a look, to keep you dry as fuck. Like, <laughs> you know, like, it's got humour behind it, yeah, yeah. you know? And that's what Palace is about. I love it, man. Now, this is the first Gore-Tex jacket they released. They released that exclusively for the New York store opening. It's a patchwork design. Each jacket was a completely different arrangement of patchworks and colours. That had to be my favourite, that patchwork arrangement. I sold, funnily enough, one of my first small faces, the ones that you looked at earlier. Yeah. I had one of those before that I sold to fund this because... Because you had to get it? I had to get it, what, yeah. What's the RRP in this? Would have been around 450. Okay. They must have made like maybe five of them in total of that, that colorway arrangement. Yeah. So you can see the jacket is almost like it's made up of different, yeah, as you said before, possibly different um, Gore-Tex fabrics on each side. Yeah. Like this feels yeah, different from the this. inside you see like the you know, This bit feels different from the inside bit. So it, it feels different. And even if you look on the inside, it's, it's it's got some different pieces in there as well, you showed me earlier on. Yeah, the different hatches. Like, on this bit here, ones. that's different. If you look on there, you can see that's different. That hasn't got the grid on it. So just just little bits of detail there that you might not notice. Man. Um, so like, moving on to more of the stuff that I think yeah, people you, will really get excited about. Um, when I went over to Tokyo last year, it was my first time over there, and like Japanese fashion, fashion is like, wow, man. Yeah. But I went into a store, what was the name of the store called again? Oh, uh, Rinkan. Rinkan, and they had this on the yeah, wall. Crazy resale shop. And um, I must have put it on my Instagram story and then people were going nuts. Yeah. And lo and behold, you got the jacket just sitting in the cupboard, just yeah. covering dust like nothing, man. <laughs> it was a slept on one, like I say again, admittedly. Sick, look at this. Look at the detail on this, man. But I love the zips, the metallic zips. Zip there, zip up there, like a, almost like a hidden zip there, little compartments, and even these little bits here that kind of tape over with the with the button studs and just go over. It's just nice little bits of touch of detail, which is really nice. Now the main thing to understand as well is that this is all all completely Stone Island's design here. Like there's no there's no input from like Supreme or, or maybe on like I don't know the colorway, but the jacket itself is what Stone Island don't written know. all over it. And what I love is that they're using the old school Dutch rope system on the inside of the jacket there as well, with the yeah. down vest. You don't really see too many Stone Island jackets doing that nowadays, so it's nice to see that. Wow, man. How much are you shutting this to me for, bro? Ah, uh, mate, <laughs> I'll put it on, on my will. You can have it once I'm back. <laughs> man, I can't be waiting like that long. <laughs> <laughs> that is really nice, man. That is really nice. And then to top it off, you've got the jacket in a very similar silhouette as well. It's the exact same jacket, same silhouette, just, just in black. I had all three colourways at one point, and when I wore them, I felt like I was wearing a different jacket each time. The colour really has like a mad effect on how yeah. the jacket drops. Do you know what, it's so funny you said that, because when I tried on the black one, yeah. it had a different feel to it. Yeah, it was yeah, really yeah. weird, even though it was the same jacket. Yeah. And I was thinking, do I like the black one or do I like the camo? And I was like, nah, man, I like the camo one. I'm but, going through phases. Yeah, but this one, if you just want to be a bit more low key, mm -hmm. obviously the camo can be probably quite noticeable, but you want to be yeah. a bit more low key. This is just. And I don't even like black jackets. Yeah, yeah. None yeah. of my jackets are black, so. Because for me, black's a little bit boring, but this. This is hella nice, man. Yeah, tell me about this one, man. Tell me about this piece. So, like, in terms of silhouette, mm -hmm. Stone Island still kept to their, their root, getting the Telestella silhouette for the jacket itself. Mm -hmm. But then this is where it's different and they use the nylon metal material to actually make the jacket itself. Uh, it makes it super light. So this is just only, this is only using one bit of technology. It's got the anti-drop drop finish, fabric research and treatment. You I need. like the discreet mastermind thing that you said on the back. Mm -hmm. You've got it here as well on the oh, jacket. Have you? What have you got? You've got the, the Supreme Classic logo. Oh back. yeah, yeah, yeah. You can barely see it there, Supreme. The New York written on New York, it. dope. It's so a very discreet. Nice, man. But again, I think like, this jacket got a lot of love from from like Supreme collectors and stuff. Yeah. And I know from Stone Island heads they didn't like it. So that that's just the inlining of one of them. You were talking about the rope system earlier. Oh, the Dutch so rope. So if you take the jacket next to it as well, that's a David TC. This one. Yeah. So you could that goes that can go inside there. 
Like this that. David TC is hella nice, man. It's Come super on, nice. Man. Yeah, yeah. I picked it up while I was out in Rome, actually, just on holiday. And but the David TC is such a nice material as well, man. It's funny. Right, moving on to that's Shadow Projects. That's a piece that I've just put up for sale. It doesn't fit me, sadly. But, oh, really? Um, yeah, it's um, it's a hollow fabric gilet. So okay. it's super lightweight, water resistant as well. Yeah. And um, again, got down insulation, which is great. At the top it off, it's got that very discreet badge on the side. This is this is where I kind of really rate your collection because you've gone from like supreme kind of hype round North Face, which is cool. Then you've even gone to some really kind of like really rare Stone Island, which is very interesting. But then you've gone really underground, and you've gone and got the the, the Plumoris, which yeah. a lot of people don't know about this. This is a brand, it's like, if you know, you know type of thing. You, you have to order it specially, they have to make it for you. you place your order online and literally, how long does it take for it to, uh, for it to come through? Like, I think the last one I did, it wasn't that long, I think it was like a month, month and a bit, I got yeah. contacted saying that was complete. And the, the, the quality of, and the weight on it, it just, it's just like, wow man. Oh, I love that, look, even using Lampo. Yeah, Lampo's it. Love Lampo, man. And then you've got the, the military inspiration which is consistent all the way throughout with the Velpo from mm -hmm. Big Release, the wax, the wax cotton, heavy wax cotton. So nice. That's the brand there. The inner that comes with that jacket. I, th I just clocked now that you got the, you guys know I love to have my little drawstrings on the side. So oh man, the tape better on, than the drawstring. Which, yeah. is, which is really important. Oh, you got the belt as well? You got a belt as well. So nice. Look at that buckle man. That's a serious ass buckle right there. If you here. show people as well, there's a handy back pocket as well on the back oh, of the really? jacket. Is a bit, yeah, it's Where it. Is it? Other side. So if you're trying to sneak like a pint into a pub or something, just kind of <laughs> put it in the back and it's like, yeah, mate, I got nothing on me, man, search. I'm not even going to take the piss that Camo Pluribus is probably my, my most worn jacket, yeah. followed by the camouflage Rosso. This one. The helicopter. Yeah. Then after that, it would probably be the Gore Tex. Uh, the, the, the palace not the, uh, not the orange, but the, the, the camo. Black one. The camo again, yeah, this yeah, one, yeah. That's, that, that's dope. I love, I love a lot that's of camo. Dope. But I wouldn't say I can have a favourite jacket though, or like a favourite thing. Everything's so different and it's been designed for different reasons. This, what is, so this is when you, this is, this little number here, this is when you got the jacket made and it then... It tells you like the exact, now that jacket I, ha, I got on the second hand market. Yeah. Because they sell out, they've gone. Sure. So each one tells you what number it was out of its production. So wow. I think this is... See that? And that each one they only made 99 of. So and this is piece 60 of 99? Yeah. Wow, so dude. Moving on to the last piece of the collection that we have here, because I'll, I'll say it again, you've got like lots more pieces upstairs. This one, for me, maybe aside from the, um, the Camo Rasso, and maybe aside from the Mastermind, because I love that jacket, this one is like my next favorite, man. This, this is, is, this is, like, this is like a wow piece. This can be worn as a normal jacket, yeah. but you can also wear it as an under jacket for, for that. this jacket. And you'll see on the inside of the, the wax cotton outer, yeah. it's got the loopholes inside to, to attach it to. Right, is that, is that this yeah, bit here? Yeah, that, so it holds as so one jacket. Will, right, so that will keep, these will help to keep this jacket in place and it's yeah. got it all throughout on the inside. Yeah, so that it doesn't detach. That's, that's mad. And it's reversible as well, Fully, so yeah. you can wear it inside out. And you can take the arms off and wear it as a gilet as well. So it's almost like two jackets in one. Well, it's almost like three jackets in one yeah. with the other jacket, right? Oof. Quite a lot, but yeah, from design point of view. And the inside is reflective, yeah, go on. <laughs> yeah, you see how technical it is, like you're saying, this comes apart, this yeah. happens, it's all done on function now. This jacket for me, definitely in terms of my favorite design, mm -hmm. has to be the one because it takes what I like from Tech wear, yeah, which is the functionality and the purpose it serves, yeah, and then all the way down to when you look at once they've executed it, how it looks visually. It has a good balance of both des like design aesthetics as well as design functionality. Right. Whereas I feel like tech wear is very plain mm -hmm. but super functional. But I think this wear. jacket is the best balance between the two worlds. Including if you have a look at, for instance, the, the Rosso as well, the pocket arrangement and stuff, and it's very convenient. Do you know how warm I feel wearing this already? And yeah, the, the sleeves button off and the, the lacing on the wrist as well. So yeah, boy, that is, um, that's pretty nuts. One of the things that I want to 
show you real quick. So when we went into F Don's room, I saw this and I just went nuts because I, I just love this, man. It's this nice palace piece. Really cool. I've been kind of showing you guys that kind of Sherpa for me is, is like big time coming back here and I've done a video on Sherpa stuff. You see it's yeah, collaboration with Adidas. Wicked. F Don just had to pull out some magical piece on us, man, and there's no way I was going to not cover this. This is a leather Nupsi jacket, which is ultra rare, and it's like, wow. So again, it's an iconic uh, Nupsi jacket, yep. which is one of North Face's like, most favorite jackets made. But this time, like I was saying, it's more directed Ooh. at a higher end audience. Gosh. The price on it was ridiculous. It was like just shy of a grand. I feel like a new man in this. Yeah. Like, some, something about good quality leather jackets, you just, you just can't escape it, man. You can see all the detail going throughout the jacket there. Got obviously the 700 showing you the back of down. The leather feels like really good quality leather as well. It feels really nice. It's not too heavy as well, and it's not too light, so it's like a medium weight, which is good. I ain't gonna lie, the, 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 North, Face, the North Face Supreme names on the side look really dope as well, so that's, that's kind of cool. I might have to ask F Don to borrow this to me. Borrow this to me for a little bit. I don't even think he's rocking it like that. You might as well give it to someone who's going to use it properly, man. You know? I really appreciate you inviting us down, showing us your collection. It's, it's been insane. Again, this is probably like 10% of your collection. We haven't even looked at your jumpers and your sweats and your trainers. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff. So that's it, guys. We've covered um, F Don's collection. Super dope collection. You've seen it for yourself. Some really, really nice kind of grill pieces there. If you want to jump onto his Instagram, you can do that. It's, um, it's the storeroom. Jump on there, he's doing some really cool things. I'll put the link up on the video so you can check that out. But for now, I'm out of here, man. I'm going to be doing lots more viewers, followers, collections, so stay tuned for it, yeah? Peace out.